Good morning, teachers and my dear peers. We are here to present a discussion of two chairs, the Morris Chair by William Morris and the Argyle Chair by Charles Rennie McIntosh, which although belong to the same time period, have a vast difference in their design, structure, and other aspects which become our basis of a comparative study. This comparison will give us an idea of how different designers had different interpretations of the designs and ways of using different materials. Now we shall go through the content slide. Over to you, Malik. Thank you, Ria. Now I'll be giving a brief background of the era these chairs belong to and some details about designers' ideologies which led to creation of these designs. The Argyle chair and Morris chair belong to the arts and crafts movement, which began in the middle of the 19th century as a result of industrialization. Its aim was to reform society by promoting handmade crafts to preserve skills of craftsmen and spread socialism. Various goods and furniture designs of this age were influenced by natural elements, followed simple forms, and stressed a lot on utilitarian values of any design. Some basic features of this period as seen in the furniture designs chosen by us are clearly depicted in this slide. For instance, the Morris chair and Argyle chair concentrated on avoiding heavy ornamentation, which is one of the aspects of the arts and crafts movement as seen in the first and second picture. Also, the usage of natural materials and natural color tones in the overall framework of the chairs depict salient features of this era. This is how features of the arts and crafts movement are clearly visible in the Morris and Argyle chair. We move on with the discussion of what ideologies were adopted by the designers which inspired them to create these designs. William Morris was known as the father of the arts and crafts movement who promoted handmade goods over factory-made products and Charles Rennie Macintosh on the other hand influenced many design movements in Europe. However, they were quite similar when it came to designs where they mostly used simple geometric form while taking nature as inspiration. Over to you, Anil. Thank you, Malik. Now, let us move with the discussion of the basic features of the chairs to give us an idea of their composition. Morris chair design is inspired from a design of a Sussex-based designer's chair, design as in relaxing chair, while the Argyle chair has an original design created by Macintosh, inspired from a soaring bird. It is a public utility chair. The design of Morris chair is traditional style and has a heavy influence of Victorian style, while the Argyle chair follows an original room within a room inspired design as seen in the top right corner picture. The Morris chair has a detailed doll woodworking as seen in the picture on the left, while the Argyle chair is an example of wood cut into elongated forms with high backrest as seen on the right. Talking about the overall form of Morris chair, it clearly has a cubic shape representing classic arts and crafts style. The form of Argyle chair is rectilinear and it gives a feel of composition of various geometrical shapes. As seen in the picture above, the Morris chair has an adjustable backrest which gives the user a good range of movement. The Argyle chair on the other hand has a high rectangular backrest which is divided into frames. It is an oval shaped opening at the top representing a solid. The armrest of Morris chair are high and wide design, keeping in mind the ultimate comfort in a piece of furniture. However, Argyle lacks armrest because of its usage as dining chair forming a screen around table. The Morris chair has a soft, bulky appearance due to its puffed seat and removable cushions, further added to the range of unique ideas used during those times. The Argyle chair has a square seat, giving it a flat appearance with no additional features. Over to you, Ria. Thank you, Anul. Let us now discuss the materiality of these chairs and some observations we made while comparing these chairs. Both these chair designs are inspired from natural forms and have ultimate use of available materials according to the place of production. The Morris chair frame is composed of quarter sawn white oak, while the Argyle chair frame is made of black lacquered ashwood and sometimes oak. The seat of the Morris is upholstered in leather and the cushions are made from special brown fabric traditionally used in many Morris's furniture. The Argyle, on the other hand, has horsehair upholstery in the seat, which is covered by a padded fabric again as seen in the pictures at the top. 
Moving on to the discussion of our perspective on the comparison of these pieces of furniture is as follows. Both these chairs belong to the same era, thus had similar design inspirations. However, they have a vast difference in their usage. The Morris was used as a lounge chair in day-to-day -day activities at home and can also be built by following simple steps, while the Argyle was used as a dining room chair due to its specific design. According to us, the Morris gives more comfort to the user because it gives a good range of movement due to its reclining nature, provides solidity, and has a practical design for long-term seating. While the Argyle is not because it provides only upright posture due to its straight backrest. The ratio of the dimensions of the seat to those of the backrest are equal in the Morris chair, thus giving it a symmetrical feel, while the Argyle has the backrest double the length of the seat. There has been evolution of the Morris chair over the years with various designs put into production. However, its classic boxy structure with wooden frame remains the same, only the upholstery keeps on changing. Despite of all the differences in these chairs, they give us a clear idea of which movement they belong to, and thus it and this is due to the simplistic form with rectilinear shapes. So although these chairs provide different user experience, they are representatives of the same movement and hence are iconic pieces of furniture from the arts and crafts era. Here is the bibliography we have used to find the content and pictures from. Thank you.